Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Jira with GitLab. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at atlassian.net and join uh, Jira software. Uh, once we do that, we want to go on our desk, uh, desktop or on our workspace to apps, uh, which is located in the upper shelf on in this uh this window and we want to go and find new apps but as you can see the gitlab is straight uh right here so let's go with the find a new uh new ad and write down gitlab press enter as you can see there is a couple of options for gitlab uh click on this one the first one and uh, we can just get app free the other way around is using automate.io uh, i leave the link in the description below this video and we want to go to integration uh, once again on the top uh, top side and we want to go and uh, switch to see all categories now we can search from 200 and more apps so the first one will be jira Click on Jira and the counterpart will be GitLab. Uh, but there's no uh, use for this one. It's there only GitHub, as I did in previous video. So how we can make this integration work for GitLab? Uh, sadly, Automate is providing us with tons of uh, the apps that we can choose from like Slack, Salesforce, HubSpot, Gmail but uh, uh, not, uh, it's not able to provide the integrations for GitLab. Uh, we can go to zapier.com and also create our account here and go to, go to make a zap, the top left corner of your screen. Uh, you can name your zap, uh, for example, Jira to GitLab for future purposes and it starts basically like at uh, automate.io uh, we press Jira let's go with software cloud let's go with the first one with new issue continue now we just uh, choose an account we hit continue uh, project will be the mstone that you created in, uh, in Jira continue now you can test the trigger. For the second action, we have to write down uh, GitLab here. As you can see, it's already here. So uh, yeah, you can do it in Zapier, but you can't do it in, uh, in Automate. Action event is create an issue, for example, continue. And the last thing is you have to login or sign into GitLab account and, and you are a few clicks away from creating this integration. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.